a little though. And um, this reminds me, you know, of when I said Granny come to stay last year for Christmas, oh, don't yes, it? Yes. Wasn't that a disaster, wasn't it? Oh, God, yes. I should think so. Well, you see, it's keep Christmas poultry. And they've all got to be killed and plucked. And when it comes to Christmas, I'll be tired. So Christmas Eve, I said to Father, I'm off to bed. And halfway up the stairs, I thought, oh dear, I haven't put any icing on the cake. Can't have Granny sitting up to Christmas tea and no icing on the cake. So although I was tired, I come downstairs, got a basin, made some icing, got out the cake and put the icing on the top. And I said to Father, "'Tis a pity, really, because I haven't got nothing to put on him." Well, Father got a pushback. He said, hang on a minute, he said. I'll go out in the shed and bring you in some. And he come in with a tin with a very ball bearings in it. So I swashed them off and put them off around the cake. And then he had a very good idea because he went behind the picture and broke off a bit of ollie and I stuck it in the middle. And although I say so myself, my cake looked nice. He looked lovely. Went to bed and slept well, I did. Got up in the morning, put the turkey in the oven, done her work, had her dinner. Then I went in the front room and sat in front of the fire like you do. Had a little glass of what you fancy. Listened to a few carols on the wireless because I said I've got the accumulator charged up. And the carols was coming all the way from London town. It was lovely. Then it was time for tea. Well, I sat up to tea and Granny said I'd like a bit of the cake. Well, I don't eat with her tea thing. But father cut her out a bit of cake and I wobbled it about and got it down all right. And then after a minute, I said, I wouldn't mind a bit more of that cake. Well, I forgot to tell her about the bow bearings, but it didn't seem to make any difference. I had her second piece of cake, ate it, gobbled it down. And then I sat in front of the fire and I had a orange and I shared some dates and I had some figs. And that was when disaster struck, because Granny got up, went to poke the wire, passed wind and shot the cat. <laughs> I didn't mind really, I had too many cats over anyway. <laughs>